Hey guys, in this video we're gonna go over straight footlock finishing mechanics. I'll go over the things I like to do personally to finish this submission. Now, one of the things I always teach my students is to be uh, at the end of the lever when you're applying the straight footlock. Meaning, when I'm gonna wrap around the ankle, I'm not gonna be around the calf here, because that just takes a lot of power to finish him. Instead, I'm gonna be at the end of the lever, so I'm gonna bring myself back as far as possible on the ankle here. Preferably, I will have the sharp uh, part of my forearm at the ankle here to cause him extra pain, yeah? Also, when I'm gripping, I make sure that my grip is as high as I can, as high as possible on my chest. If I'm low here, around the waist, and I apply it, I lose a lot of tension on the leg. But as opposed to being high here, when I apply it, I have a lot more pressure on the ankle. It'll tap a lot quicker. Now. Other details which are important is to have the shoelaces of his foot glued to the back of your shoulder, yeah? So I don't want to have space between the shoelaces and my shoulder. I want to be nice and tight and I want to have his foot bending already like so as I apply the ankle lock. Now for the positioning of the legs, it's really important that I have his hip posted on the mat, yeah? I don't want him to be able to elevate his hips as I apply because that will only relieve the pressure. So there's different ways to do this, yeah? For example, you can go for a, a regular single X where you have one foot on the hip like so, and then your knee is covering your heel and then you're pressing downwards. Or what you can also do is have a shadow hook where you're hooking one foot on the inside of the thigh and the other foot comes on top. This is also really good. Now, let's say I'm going for the finish here. I'm gonna keep a high grip here, or I'm gonna make like a, a figure four type grip or shotgun grip, what some people call it. Either way, I'm gonna keep everything high and tight. I'm not gonna be staying on my elbow. I will drop to my shoulder like so. I could finish him here already, as you can see. But if you're having trouble finishing on your shoulder, try turning your chest to the mat, kind of going belly down, yeah? So I'm here, and if I can tap him here, which most cases you will be able to, I try to turn even more. And then if I turn even more, I can eventually go belly down finish from that position, it will be a lot stronger. Now, those are some uh, key details to finishing straight ankle lock. I hope you can use them. Good luck.